October is here, and falling temperatures are bringing big savings. Get the phone you want with free activation all month long on postpaid service. That's up to a $30 savings per line. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Four people have been charged for their roles in an elaborate scheme to deliver drugs and other illegal items to inmates inside the Pike County Detention Center. This morning, Sheriff Rodney Scott and several deputies arrested three people, all from Floyd County, after surveillance cameras captured them on the night of September 22nd, tying several items, including Suboxone, cigarettes, and a syringe to a string dropped out of the jail by inmates. One of the inmates drilled a hole through the side of the, uh, through the, side of the facility and they released uh, a string down and the two females on, on the outside of the facility tied contraband, then drugs, and, and, and other syringes and other items to it. And they was trying to jimmy it up and get into, inside the facility. While they attempted to bring it up, the hoe was too small, and, and it released the drugs when it got to the hoe. And at that time, my staff was there. The, the, the individuals fled, but we recovered the, the contraband laying on the ground. And working with the Pike County Sheriff's Department since the 23rd, uh, we were successful this morning on charging at least four individuals. Deputies arrested 27-year-old Jordan Kahn, 23-year-old Shayla Stevens, and 25-year-old Randa Hamilton and charged them with first-degree promoting contraband. Hamilton and Stevens were each charged with three counts of endangering the welfare of a minor because three small children were also seen on the surveillance cameras the night they attempted to smuggle the drugs inside. A fourth individual, 24-year-old Scotty Gibson, who is currently incarcerated at the detention center, was also charged with promoting contraband and criminal mischief. Jailer Brian Morris said Gibson admitted using a tool that he made inside the jail to drill the hole in the wall.